Hey Assassins, this is Wheel and welcome back to part number two, how to build the interior of the Hawkins Police Station from of course Stranger Things. If you didn't check out part one, you can find that link in the description below and I'll also try and drop it in the comment section in a pinned comment so you can go straight to it as well. We did of course build the exterior of Hawkins Police Station and today we'll be working on furnishing up the entire place and getting it fully functional to be able to stop some crime. Let's go ahead, grab some new materials, and get started. Alright guys, so to get us started, we will take some spruce wood slabs and some sea lanterns. Now we're going to get the boring bit out of the way first of all, the lighting. Now, maybe some of you guys will find that interesting, but I'm more of a sort of, I don't know, I like to get on, you know, do the, do the furnishings a bit more fun. So the lighting is always the bit I forget to do, like when planning tutorials, and then it comes to it, I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, i gotta got to include some lights, I completely forgot. No one can, uh, you know, see in the dark that well, especially if they don't need their carrots. So let's go for it. So, we're going to go ahead and use our slabs. And because we actually planked over the entire roof in the last part, we can use this to our advantage with our slabs. The slabs are just going to anchor to this, which is awesome. So, first things first. Let's take our sea lanterns and place one, two, three on the right door, just over here. So literally, as you come in, just right there. Let's add in the slabs around this, like so. Then we'll go down the corridor for two blocks worth, like that, away from this other one. And then add in another one, two, three sea lanterns here. Again, slabbed around, like so. Now then, as we get onto this smaller corridor down here, we go ahead and start our new sea lanterns on this wall here. And then right at the very end, just like so. And the rest is just slabbed up in between and at the ends like this. Nice one. Well, that's one down already. That's awesome. Let's go into Hopper's office. Get this out of the way as well. So, in here, all we do is go ahead and place one, two sea lanterns here, two blocks away, another two over here. So, never touching the exterior walls, just hanging in the middle there. And let's place slabs all the way around the perimeter, and then, of course, connect the two like that. Another one down onto this one over here, so the gents' toilet. There's just two in the middle and slabs all the way around the exterior like that. Oops, not like that, like that. <laughs> there we go. Into the cell. I need to get a button. Uh, did it, uh, awkward lift music comes in right now. Boom. Okay. In here, we just go ahead and place two in the middle and slab around as we did with the gents toilet. Very, very similar. There we go. Put this button up there. Nice one. Get out real quick before it shuts on me. Okay, so let's go into this low area. Now this is a very weird room, so we actually have to go ahead and put two just here, in the central sort of area here. And then we'll go ahead and place two directly next to this wall, and then two in this corner like so. So it's very odd, but we actually do this because of a unit that goes here later on. So let's slab around these now, like so. Now for the major office space, let's go on in. Let's get this, uh, take our sea lanterns again. Let's go to this corner and let's go a block away from the exterior wall and this exterior wall and then leave two blocks and then go ahead and place another two just here. Then leave two blocks again and place in another row like that. Then another two blocks and place your final row like so. That should be about two blocks away from this wall up here on the actual main door into this office. And then we just slab the entire rest of the roof over as well. The slabbing is quite satisfying to be honest because you're filling in all the little gaps, the little rivets between them which is pretty cool. So we get it like very very filled up like bacon a cake. Well ice in a cake kind of. I know nothing about how to make cakes. I know a lot about eating cakes but not much about baking. There we go. Awesome. Okay now we go ahead and drop into this one over here, the actual bathroom, and we'll go ahead, place one, and slab it around like so. Nice and simple. As for this one, by the way, we don't actually put any lights in here. We're just going to go ahead and slab over the entire roof ready, because there's a lantern that sits on top of one of the shelves in here, in this corner on the right side, and that actually lights up that room for us. So we don't actually need to place any sea lanterns in there for the time being. Brilliant. Let's get on to the fun part and build some furniture. Okay then guys, so to get us started, let's take ourselves a flower pot, an armor stand, a monster spawner, an item frame, a bookshelf, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz stairs, and some iron bars. 
Now what we're going to do is kind of multitask a little bit. I don't have enough materials in my hotbar at the moment to complete the hallway, which is really gutting, but we'll do it in like two sections, so that's okay. Let's go to the inside of the door on the left side, go to this first block here, and place a normal facing armor stand, just chilling. Then we'll place a one, drop it on there, and then we'll place another one above it. Ah, crumbs. You have to kind of stand outside to do this one. Oh no. It is a little awkward. There we go. And once you get it right, it kind of looks like a uh, kind of looks like um, a coat stand, which is pretty cool. And then we want to go ahead and place a flower pot besides that, like so. And that can be like an umbrella stand just there. Then we'll take our smooth quartz stairs. We'll go a block in from the door. Leave this one empty, but place it on the second block in. With an item frame on it, of course. And then your iron bars for a little drain. That is going to be for our water fountain. Now above that, we'll go ahead and go to up here. We'll place ourselves a slab just there and another slab just to the left of that like so that is leaving a block gap and then leaving half a slab <laughs> a slab uh, gap just there so you can place your slabs up here one bookshelf just goes there and then an item frame goes here with a monster spawner faced sideways like so nice one now then down the whole hallway we want to go ahead and place an item frame just here in the middle of these two doors and then we'll also go ahead and place an item frame just here where I had that button, just like that. The button will come back, but it will just be down there. So if you want to grab that back now, it will be the same button, just an oak one. Uh, let's just grab it back, slap it on there. Then that's pretty cool. And there's also one on the inside of this block as well. Nice one. Okay, with regarding our armor stands, we may as well use a couple more of these around the place. Let's place another coat hanger just here. Same design as the other one. There we go. Nice one. And then we'll also place one in Hopper's office, this time on an iron bar. Now we won't go to this corner exactly, we'll go to the one to the left of it, just here. Place an iron bar on the floor, and then place your coat stand up here. This is going to be awkward to place. You may have to remove the block above, just so you can sort of place the armor stands to fall, like that. And then just grab a slab back. There we go. Nice one. So now let's take ourselves some purple stairs, a warp trap door, a flower pot, a cacti again. Uh, sorry, the, the flower pot again, not the cacti. <laughs> we'll also take some oak leaves, a tripwire hook, and a red banner. Let's go ahead and place ourselves a little bench just here. So a little seating area with three purple stairs just a block away from the little wharf water fountain. And then warp trap doors folded up on both sides of it, like so. A little flower pot is going to go on this wall corner just like that and then we'll place a cacti in like so and then one two three oak leaves above it like that very very large plant awesome our trip by hook is going to go in this item frame at a slight angle like that just for a little sort of biometric lock or something for the uh, holding cell and then we'll place a red banner just in the corridor like that to represent a little fire extinguisher cool time to grab some more materials Alright, so taking ourselves some quartz stairs once again, a white banner, a cauldron, a tripwire hook, an iron trap door, block of iron, iron bars, and a weighted pressure plate. That is the iron one, of course. We'll go into this room right at the right end of our corridor, open it up, go on inside and build a six block, so three, uh, two, lots of three like so, um, kind of stacked up like that. And then we'll go ahead and build three cauldrons in the floor, like so. And then three iron trapdoors above those for our little urinal over here. We're also going to put a cauldron in the corner, like that, with a tripwire hook on the wall to represent the tap. Then a quartz stair besides it, to the left, with a white banner behind it, like so. Nice one. Now we'll zoom across to the office space, and we'll go to this room right at the end here. And we'll build the ladies' bathroom. So we'll go ahead and build... One, two blocks of iron in the left corner, with quartz stairs like that upside down in front of it. One iron trap door on the back of the uh, uh, stair like that, on the top of the stair even, and then kind of in front of the uh, iron block there. Then we'll place one, two, three iron bars up the right side of the toilet, coming out from it like that, for like a, fr a flush even. And then we'll stick a weighted pressure plate on top, like so. We will also take ourselves our quartz stairs and stick two upside down here and then one cauldron in the corner with a tap behind it and a white banner to the left of it like that. 
Now I'm going to quickly grab some recyclable materials, ones we've already used, and finish up this. So if you want to go ahead and grab yourself the item frame back, this time a banner pattern, a flower pot back, an azure bluette, and a water bucket, we'll just quickly finish off these bathrooms. Let's place our flower pot with our flower in the left corner, sorry, in the right corner, like that, on the left of our banner. Nice one. Then we'll also stick a item frame in front of the toilet on the wall over here with a banner pattern in for like some uh, lube roll just there. Shut that door. Let the, the smell stay inside. <laughs> then we'll come down this way and place water in our cauldron. And I actually, silly mistake, but I actually forgot to place it in here as well. Just like so for our sinks. And there we go. Let's grab some more materials. So guys, let's go ahead and go into the big office space over on the right. Uh, no, left side of the building. Let's grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood planks, a dark oak sign, a spruce trap door, an item frame, black concrete, jungle wood stairs, oak wood stairs, and some spruce wood stairs as well. Now, first things first, let's take our stairs and use these over here. Let's go under the window with our spruce for two to the left, then one oak, and then we'll do two upside down jungle to the left of that one as well. Nice one. Next, what we'll do is go ahead and build the sort of uh, desk area at the reception. So to do this, all we need to do is place ourselves an upside down stair in the corner. Uh, this is dark oak, by the way. And then one, two, and three, like so. Then we'll place two planks up the left side, like so. We'll also stick a spruce trap door here and fold it down alongside our planks like that. Let's make a chair just by sticking a See just there, a block away from the wall, like so. And then we'll stick two item frames on the desk, like that, just to the right of the uh, trapdoor. Let's also stick one above the window, up here, for a clock. Nice one. And now let's go ahead and build some more desks. So, all we need to do is kind of spin around a little bit, get a little bit maneuverable, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and build a desk just about here. So, Let's go from the back of the seat. Let's go one, two, and then we'll go across by one, and then we're going to start just here. So that is actually basically three blocks away and then up one. All right. So this one I'm not actually going to place yet. I want to place an upside down stair in this gap. So I have to place something behind it so I can get it upside down like that. And then I'm going to curve it this way so the upside down stair part will be facing out towards the building. Let's go up for three blocks like so. That's about right. Yeah, that's looking good. And then we'll go ahead and turn the corner just here for two, like that, just to make it on a corner sort of shape there. Then we'll stick one spruce trap door on the end here with two item frames beside it. And then we'll stick Nancy and Jonathan's seats just there like so. If you want to go ahead and turn in this kind of upside down stair here for the desk as well, like we did with the original one, then that would actually look pretty cool as well. But it's up to you guys. Nice one. Then we'll go behind this and leave a one by one gap just there. And then we'll go ahead and add in basically another desk just here. So I'm going to do the same sort of thing. Sit down stair. I'm only going to make a three block desk like that. And then just place one seat there like so. Cool. That's looking great. Then we'll stick two item frames on this desk over here. And we'll stick one final item frame just to the top left of that window like so. Now then, to get in one final Oh no, <laughs> I was going to say, to get into one final item frame, but no, there's like loads more, I'm sorry guys. Ugh, voice break as well, jeez. Okay, so let's go to the top left of this door, and we'll go ahead and place a block here of black concrete for our TV. And we'll actually put an item frame on it like so. And now for the last item frames, we'll go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, like so, onto the right side of that doorway, like that. And then we'll place three upside down dark oak wood stairs under those like that just for a little sideboard okay let me just double check i've used up the room the right materials in the right spots let's put one last spruce trap door just here on the jungle and yeah we can go ahead and grab some new materials okay then guys so for the next part we'll take ourselves block of iron birch trap doors flower pot cacti oak leaves Dark Oak signs again, I'm so sorry guys, I completely forgot to use these, I'm a little bit of a numpty, I apologise for that. Also going to need some iron bars, white carpet, and some blue banners. Alright, so first things first, 
let's go ahead and stick our blue banners on the window. One here and one here. So that is actually on the windows, by the way. We'll also go ahead and stick a couple more on the other windows. But this time we'll stick one underneath here and then one, un well, behind that armor stand like so. Nice one. Let's stick a pen pot on this desk here, like so. Then we'll also stick a pen pot here on this one desk, this one desk, this desk even. And then we'll stick a um, iron bar on this little upside down stair with a white carpet on for a lamp. Then we'll take a block of iron and build a cluster of four, like so. So we can stick oak leaves here and here. Then a flower pot with a cacti in just there. We'll stick a flower pot in the corner just down there. Another pen pot. Then we'll take birch trap doors and put them around this file cabinet. Fold it down with the handles facing down as well. Just for extra detail. Sweet. And is that every material? No, I almost forgot the signs again. Okay, so for the signs, what we do is stick them on this file cabinet. Second row down on the sign, you put three little lines just to represent a little handle to pull the drawer out like so. If you want to also give the receptionist lady a little bit more of a nicer chair, you can also put a sign on the side of the chair there or even at the back one over here. I might just do this back one as well. That kind of looks nice. There we go. A bit more of an executive looking chair. Pretty cool. All right, that might be every material. Before we do scrap our inventory though, let's quickly take a birch trap door, place it up here in the top left corner, fold the handle up facing the ceiling like that. Okay, I'm going to grab some new materials, but fingers crossed uh, they will all be new and not just like <laughs> uh, one of them just missing from last time. Okay, I'll be right back. So next, grabbing yourself a book, an oak sign, nether brick slab, nether brick stairs, sandstone slab, dark oak trap doors, bookshelf, a white banner, this is actually an American flag banner. Um, this banner you can find in a tutorial of Mike Wheeler House and Dustin Henderson's house, both available on my channel. I'll put the links in the description below and I'll also put a timestamp on them where you can find this flag so you can just go straight away and make this and then add it to your worlds. Awesome. And then an end rod as well. Let's pick the end rod where the flag was just at, just there. And then we'll go ahead and stick the flag in an item frame up here. We'll stick two bookshelves besides it to the left and kind of next to that uh, trapdoor as well. Then we'll place three smooth sandstone slabs underneath all that. And then one just here around the corner. And this one around the corner is going to have a dark oak trapdoor in it like so. Now we use up the things in our inventory still. We'll place a sign just here next to our trapdoor, but facing towards the person sat here. And then we'll stick a book also facing towards the person sat here. We can go ahead and stick another book just here. And if you want to go ahead and stick another book maybe at the reception desk, that would also look pretty cool. So I'm just going to drop this one about here. Nice one. Okay. Okay, so to use our nether materials, we will go ahead and go one, two, stairs stacked up underneath our black concrete with the item frame on. And then we'll do the opposite of that, just next to it, like that. Stick a slab next to the TV. Then we'll stick a stair facing towards the doorway, like so, and then a slab just here, like so, for a little shelving unit. Not exactly the most uh, productive, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, so to finish off this office space, we'll take some paper, endstone bricks, birch sign, glass panes, a lever, a polished blackstone button, a clock, an iron trap door, and maps. Just any old maps will do, just as long as you've got six different ones if you can get them. Or even just the same one, it doesn't really matter too much. So for these maps, just plonk them in the item frames here. Now mine are all going to be the same, but I might just do that just to cheat up a little bit. They're all different now. <laughs> well, slightly different. Um, anyway, let's stick the clock up here, like that. Let's stick the paper in front of the receptionist desk, like so. And also the paper in this one, over there. Then we'll take ourselves two layers of three uh, end stone bricks for a total of six and then we'll take our birch signs and do the same type of um, file cabinet system we were doing before but instead of the three lines across on the second line down of our signs we'll just do two brackets uh, an opening and closing bracket like that just so it looks like a little kind of uh, draw knob a little bit pretty cool let's just sort these out 
there we go and you can also stick a couple signs here and here if you want to just to finish it off but it's up to you guys not really the most important thing let's stick a glass pane here on the tv then a lever on the tv for like an antenna and then a polished blackstone button on the side of the tv for changing the channel and lastly we'll stick a iron trap door on this lamp over here just to kind of finish it off and there we go one very very packed up office type space all right so let's go ahead and do the kitchen so right at the end of the corridor there's this door come into this little space we'll grab ourselves spruce doors chests spruce trap doors paintings dark oak wood stairs dark oak wood slabs oak wood planks oak signs and an item frame let's go ahead and plonk a painting over here on the wall so let's go to the third kind of wall up line up even just knock that through so i can place a painting down yeah that'll do nice one i'll replace those in a second let's place three oak wood planks down here kind of facing this way and then we'll place a nice kind of big shelf over here so place a stair facing backwards against the planks and going up for three and then do the same over here just leaving a block gap between them then we'll slab the top over and then slab each individual shelf up as well until you have a full unit we will go ahead and place another painting over here this time it's a one by two and it goes in this gap here like so now i can go ahead and grab my brick block back and replace the ones i removed next let's place a little pantry type thing over here let's just place two double chests up like so with spruce trap doors on top then we'll place two doors out the front hopefully the handles will face one another and then a door just here as well corresponding with the open door just there nice one okay let's lastly take ourselves an item frame stick it just here a block above our kind of unit here then we'll take ourselves our oak signs we'll place them on this little cabinet down here we'll just do the three lined thing on the second row down again just to represent not a file cabinet this time maybe just a chest of drawers that hold teas and coffees and whatnot like so nice one okay let's grab the final materials for this room so now grabbing some block of coal a dark oak button or a button of your guys choice an iron trap door black stained glass a brown banner iron bars a weighted pressure plate that is of course the iron one a block of iron again and some quartz stairs again as well let's place our block of coal just on the middle unit and then to the left of that we'll place a black stained glass block two iron trap doors go above this then we'll place a dark oak button just in front of the uh, sort of microwave block of coal just here then we'll place a brown banner in the item frame just there maybe as a calendar or some type of poster for the police station nice one that room is done let's go into the cell and build the toilet whilst we have enough for the materials so let's go ahead and build one two blocks of iron up here then we'll place a weighted pressure plate on top and to the left of this we'll place one two three iron bars going up that and then we'll place an upside down quartz stair just here with an iron trap door on top nice one so to finish off the cell we'll grab a beret, uh, <laughs> a beret i was going to say for some reason a red bed a cauldron a tripwire hook we'll actually grab ourselves some ikea trap doors as well dark oak wood stairs quartz stairs dark oak signs dark oak wood slab and quartz a smooth quartz slab as well so to finish off the cell let's place our bed in the right corner just besides the flush of the toilet then a cauldron here and a tripwire hook just above it like so if you want to feel generous you can give the uh prisoner some water as well but uh nah <laughs> nah i'm joking i didn't actually have enough room all right let's go into hopper's office so in here we can go ahead and stick two ikea trap doors on the windows folded down of course like so let's next stick a seat just here with our dark oak wood stairs just to the left of that and we'll also stick one to the left of the armor stand over here and on this you can just stick yourself one dark oak sign don't have to put any text on it just stick it there as a little arm of the chair now we'll stick ourselves an upside down stair here and then we'll stick one just here like so or even a slab it's up to you guys the desk can be made anyway and then we'll stick one here as uh, a temporary one to put an upside down one just there for a three block desk let's stick one seat just here nice one leaving a two block gap on the left and a three block gap on the right 
Now we're going to quickly close the gap on the right by adding in two, going up for three, lots of stairs like so. Then we'll do the same with the quartz. And on the very top layer, you can go ahead and slab them over with their corresponding material. So wood for the wood, quartz for the quartz. Sweet. Okay, I just want to go ahead and stick a sign here on Hopper's chair as well, but not the other side. Let's go ahead and finish up this place. Now let's take ourselves a book, some paper, an item frame, a cartography table, a block of iron, dark oak wood planks, a bookshelf, dark oak trap door, and an iron trap door. Let's stick our iron trap door above our mannequin over here, so our armor stands. Then we'll stick a bookcase just down from that uh, armor stand, sorry, a bookshelf. And then we'll stick two planks under our bookshelf like so. We'll stick a block of iron just here with a cartography table on top and then a dark oak trapdoor on top of that one. We'll stick two item frames on the desk over here, one more sort of towards the armor stand and one in front of Hopper's chair. A book goes in front of Hopper's chair just here and a bit of paper goes over here corresponding to this little seat over there. Nice. So the very final materials of Hawkins Police Department, a flower pot, white banners, spruce wood slab, a barrel, spruce wood stairs, a chest, and a lantern. Let's go ahead and finish Hopper's office. So one flower pot goes on the desk here for a little pen pot, and then we'll do the two banners oops, on the windows up here for some privacy, like so. So one above, and then one on the window. Nice one. That is awesome. So let's go back into the office area and go to the middle door here. In here we'll build a nice kind of cupboard area just for like I said, some storing of evidence or even weaponry or something. Okay, so let's go ahead, first of all, curve stairs around as if you're building a big seat. But do this for like three layers. Like this. And now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and use slabs over the top of this. Like so. But then we actually don't want to stop there. We're going to go ahead and take our barrels and our chests and sort of randomly place these around. So knocking out the stairs and just plonking these in where you want. So it's a really messy sort of cupboard, but there's not really much in the way of uh, organizing because, well, it doesn't really need organizing too much because Hawkins is a small town. Nothing really goes on in Hawkins. Ugh. <laughs> and let's replace this corner one in the right with a block made with the slabs. So you can go ahead and stick a lantern on just to light up the room like so. And once you're satisfied that you've got enough sort of storage spaces in here, but uh, not too crowded, you can come out and, yeah, say that it's all done. So there we go. Hawkins Police Station is now 100% completed. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really do appreciate it. I am so sorry I had to do this over two parts. For such a small building, it is actually jam-packed with uh, details, but also a lot of materials, like a lot of materials. So having to do two parts just to get the interior done as well is a real tricky thing but um i do hope you guys had fun building it if you did please be sure to drop a like that'd be really really awesome it really helps the channel out more than you know um with youtube's algorithm i'm pretty sure that it actually like puts more liked videos in search engine sort of softwares and stuff like that so uh well algorithms should i say so like if you guys dropped likes on this video and it hit 10 say um then more people would be able to reach it because uh well it's got more viewer ratings so it is really, really awesome to see. Thank you so much, guys. Really do appreciate that. If you are new around here, welcome to the channel. I really do appreciate you sticking by and uh, watching this crazy video. If you do like what you see, please definitely consider subscribing. I do have a lot more Stranger Things tutorials on the way, like uh, that one over there. What could it be, huh? What could it be? Uh, and then we do have this one behind me. Also, what could it be? Who knows? But um, yeah, they are to come, definitely. Stay tuned if you can by subscribing and joining the Assassin Hood for future uploads. But anyway guys, I'm going to have to get going. I am shattered now after doing that one. It has been hard work, but it has been good fun. Definitely can't wait to do another Stranger Things tutorial. See you guys next time. Thank you once again. Stay safe of course, and I will see you very, very shortly. Goodbye for now.